Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my December daily flip through from last year because I realised, um, now I'm starting to think about Christmas crafting, that I didn't actually do a flip through. I took a few photos and then I was just moving on uh, in January. So I thought it's about time I did a flip through. Look at the size of it. It is huge. She chunky, she thick. So I was hugely inspired by uh, Paige Evans um, when it came to my December daily. Uh, I had watched over the years um, uh, her doing a flip through of her December dailies wow. using her cut files. Oh God, my dog's barking. Sorry about that. Um, and so I thought that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. So um, the front is exactly the same as the back, except that I covered it, encrusted it with all sorts of jimmies and sequins. So they're both the uh, gingerbread houses. I think I think there were two different types of gingerbread house cut files. The other one is inside here on one of the pages. Um, and I layered it with, so it's like a light brown card and then I put the glittery voile over the top and then uh, the gingerbread cut file on the top of that. So here's the back again. So that's what it looks like when it's bare bones which is what the front looked like, but I was like, no, <laughs> I'm just a bit extra, I think, at all times. And as you can see, there's a lot of trim going on, and I use this um, ribbon. I don't even know if I bought this specifically for Christmas crafting or whether... No, I bought this ribbon to, to wrap up presents, and I stole some. In fact, I think my husband bought the ribbon. Yes, he bought two lots of ribbon, and I was like, yoink, I'm having some of that. So... <laughs> I haven't looked through this since I finished it, which was um, the first week of January. So this will be interesting for me as well. So um, on this first page here, I uh, covered it with like a page protector kind of plastic and put this sequins mix in that I believe was from Emma at Project Sparkle, as was this cut file. Um, she did like a little kit that you could uh, pay for and she sent it to you. I think this... Uh, little candy cane was from her and then I printed the bigger one off on my Cricut or cut it out on my Cricut so this is what am I talking about here I'm just talking about the fact that we're in the pandemic and there's a picture of that flipping elf god I hate that elf I am not <laughs> I just do it because um I just feel like it's expected of me now I can't say I enjoy it I'm one of these people that forgets to move the flipping thing um so yes, there's a green bell, and we've got one of the Hey Santa charms. So, first day is just documenting our Christmas tree, and uh, used a, this isn't a Paige Evans one, this was just from the design space on Cricut, um, just showing our great big, what is it, eight foot, it's eight foot tree that we've got. And then day number two, our... Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Christmas adverts and how we all look forward to them because I'm guessing it's the same in other countries, but in the UK it's a big thing. Like the Christmas, what's the John Lewis advert going to be? You know, who's going to have the best Christmas advert? Me and my husband always go, oh, that's the best one. That's the best one this year. So, um, just talking about an advert, and this is Kevin the carrot, <laughs> who's um. One of the supermarket, little supermarket advert. He's, he's on every year. I think he's been around for about four years now. Kevin the Carrot. Anywho. Uh, day three. I'm talking about um, doing a uh, Christmas swap with my friend Natalie. And I just stuck a few photos on there of things that I made for her. What do we have here? Oh, I've got like a little wood veneer that's all glittery. Star. Just going back, I think these presents are Paige Evans cut files that I then just trimmed down, I believe. I think they were on a wreath design, and then I just enlarged the cut file and then just trimmed off the, the little elements that I wanted, I think. Uh, this is definitely a Paige Evans cut file, these Christmas decorations, because I ordered a load of new Christmas decorations for our tree. Um, it's a sparkly bauble. Uh, so that's what I was talking about there. I mean, I, I didn't want 
to fill my December daily with reams of journaling. All I really wanted to do was make it look pretty, have a photo with a little caption. That was my objective. I'd never done a December daily before. I certainly wasn't wanting to document, you know, all this heartfelt journaling. I just wanted to just have like a little snapshot as to what was going on. And we've got the um, Merry and Bright puffy thicker thing from Hay Santa. We've got very chunky pink pom-pom trim on the side and a red glittery ball ball. This is the other, I love this cut file, this um, gingerbread house by Paige Evans and we decorated gingerbread houses. I had wanted to like um, bake our own, you know, but hang on. Did we bake them? I bought Bake Your Own Gingerbread. I bought Bake Your Own Gingerbread House kits by mistake. They took forever to bake and decorate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we did. I thought for a second by looking at that picture that we must have bought like the ready-made ones and just glued it together. But no, we did. We actually baked them. Yeah, that took all day. And me and my daughters did it together. And we kind of had like a bake-off. <laughs> Like, whose is the best and of course I'm like a massive perfectionist and they what, what 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 age were they then they would have been 11 and 9 and they were kind of interested for the first five minutes and then the novelty wore off so mummy was out there concentrating and sweating away in the kitchen and then they got humpy because they said yours is better than ours and I thought well you have to put effort in anyway <laughs> <laughs> I'd forgotten that. This is really funny. Oh dear. Oh, I remember really liking this page. It's at the top there with the stars. Is yet another Paige Evans cut file. And even though uh, I've used white for the sort of outline of the cut file, I quite enjoyed the fact that I still backed it onto a white um, card by Hay Centre. Oh, I haven't even mentioned the papers. If I remember correctly, I used some Hay Centre, and then some were like Amy Tangerine, and some were. Uh, Paige Evans go the scenic route like, I wanted it to be really colourful like, I can see that that's Paige Evans go the scenic route so yeah it's really quite eclectic anywho I'm waffling um, so I've stuck a lot of star sequins on the pages as well twinkly twinkly so this is just documenting how we watched the Christmas Chronicles 2 and had a Chinese my daughter there or one of them uh, page seven was me talking about sending things off to uh, Lana and Chantelle. Lana's a North Cali girl, triple eight, and um, Chantelle is Chantelle Loves Paper. I'm sure you follow both of them. And this was like the first time I'd ever sent anything uh, away, ever, I think. So I wanted to document that. So there's just an image there of the loaded envelope I sent Lana and and a different loaded envelope that I sent to Chantel so that I could remember this momentous occasion. <laughs> and we've got another Jingle Bell and another Hay Santa Charm. Uh, I think this might be Amy Tangerine, this paper in the background. Uh, it's one of the really nice cut files from Paige Evans, Joy, Peace, Santa, Falala, and Holly Jolly. So I had to split it over uh, two pages because they're very small. I haven't got my ruler with inches on it. I don't know what it is. I think it might be five by five. I'm not quite sure. Um, so what am I talking about here? Oh, I'm making some handmade Christmas cards that are like shaker snow globes. There was a lot of crafting going on because I had just kind of got into uh, paper crafting. And so I was like making everything and <laughs> sending this to someone. So I think there's a lot of documenting that uh, going on in this December daily. It's like glitter everywhere. So, my top five Christmas films ever. I hope to watch them all during this month of December. I probably did. I haven't written if I watched them or not. But you can tell by the images as to what they are. We've got Christmas Chronicles, Home Alone, uh, Home Alone 2, Elf, and Santa Claus the Movie. Because it just really reminds me of my childhood. I love Santa Claus the Movie. <laughs> Day 10. Another Paige Evans cut file, these lovely gingerbread men, and then I glued on um, these flat back pearls on their eyes and like their buttons. Really cute, because we'd um, picked up these gingerbread trees, and they kind of just slotted into each other, and then they decorated them. But as I've said here, 
I think more sprinkles ended up on the floor than the biscuits because there's barely any sprinkles on it. I think they just enjoyed eating them. Just eat, eat the sprinkles. Don't bother putting icing and sprinkles on the gingerbread Christmas trees. Oh dear. <laughs> Day 11. Uh, Chris, Chris is my husband. Chris brought home a box of Cornetto style ice creams, which we all enjoyed. It was so pretty that I had to take a photo before I ate it in front of the tree because you know it's just like the perfect backdrop isn't it for all december daily photos <laughs> and so i paired it with the Paige evans snowman as it's ice ice cream and i've just put some snowflake sequins on there and i think all yeah i think all of the numbers that are all the way through this book uh, a glittery foam that I think I just got from Amazon and then I cut them out on my Cricut so that they're all different different colours and all bright and colourful. <sighs> More Hay Santa paper. We've got purple pom-pom trim and like a iridescent star ball ball on the side there. I bought some elf slippers from Home Bargains. <laughs> well, why not? I've written here. And I found these the other day, but I remember I had to cut those bells off. You can see them. They had like elf pixie boot Christmas slippers and they were so annoying. <laughs> Every time you took a step, the jingling, oh, it drove me insane. So I still have them, but I just snipped all the bells off and I probably use them for crafting. There's prob they're probably in here, hanging off the sides. Ah, beginning to feel really festive now. So there's a selfie. That's me, everybody. <laughs> next to the tree and we've got some puffy stickers here this isn't a page evans cut bar i remember i'm pretty certain that this was just from uh, design space i think and that's a hay center puffy thing i never know what they're called Th they're not thickers are they thickers oh, i'm not sure right this page i've covered some bits up uh, i remembered it was uh page 13. um i went to visit my friend who runs a pub and just we made spaghetti bolognese drank red wine and watched Stella Street so and that's a Christmas card I made him but I had to cover some other things up because you know you don't want to broadcast everything on social media right page 14 what am I talking about here all the goodies that Natalie made me oh yes so we did a Christmas swap me and Natalie and that's a it's an awful photo I have now sussed out um how to get better photos printed on my printer so it's a terrible image but that's a photo of all the things that Natalie sent to me and then I paired it with this um, snow globe cut bar from Paige Evans. I'm kind of regretting the card and colour choices that I chose for that but I think I was beginning to lose the will to live by mid-month. It really took it out of me doing uh, the cut files because they're just so tiny a lot of it. And I was doing it all by hand, you know, tracing these tiny little shapes and cutting all the bits out. So I think um, maybe I would just, yeah, was not with it when I was doing that. Because I think against this, if it was a darker background, it would pop. But So I don't know what I was thinking of there, but there we are. And then we have a snow globe charm to go with the snow globe. And page, or day 15 rather. Uh, Chris ordered three big bottles of coffee syrups, gingerbread, hazelnut and pumpkin spice. I think we'll be using these up in no time, which we did. Um, they were literally gone within two weeks. And so <laughs> I paired it with the uh, sort of gingerbread in a coffee cup, um, cup file by Paige Evans. I just thought it was the perfect cup file to use with the story. So, and I love this colour. It's kind of like a raspberry um, colour foam and those are from Hay Santa and like a pale blue uh, pom-pom trim what is this uh, the, the December cut cut out cut file oh, from Paige Evans I like that what have I done here George was, or George is my son George was sent home from school and asked to take a Covid test it was negative all of the kids have had to take tests in the last three months so it's just me documenting flipping Covid and we've got one of the little pale pink star in the ball ball type of thing uh, charms hanging off the side. Day 17, it says, love my girls. Lizzie and Jess took selfies with Christmas filters. 
<laughs> oh dear, so they're my daughters with some um, silly Christmas shenanigans going on. With some more chunky pom-pom. Trim. Uh, this is my son. Uh, to snap George out of a bad mood, I let him play about with various funny filters on my phone. I mean, he still loves that to this day. He, he's quite a narcissist. He likes looking at himself and pulling faces. So there he is, and it says, let your heart be light. Um, another cut file by Paige Evans. Day 19. Oh, what's this say? That, that I've posted parcels abroad for the first time. I've made my first ever memory decks, cards and loaded envelopes. And made special handmade Christmas cards. Taken a swap, taken part in a swap with Natalie. Yeah, and doing this, everything was a first for me for December 2020. So yes, it's, that was the Instagram top nine. So I just uh, made a record of that. And there's a photo in the background there of some bows that I made for part of my Christmas swap. We got more. Oh no, pom poms are there. Uh, a gold star ball ball on the side there and that lovely raspberry purpley coloured foam A20 oh this goes nice doesn't it with the background all coordinating papers uh, we've got a light dusting of snow literally look you can still see the grass through uh, the snow it was a proper light dusting but how exciting for snow in December I mean it just never happened never ever happened so of course I had to document it and I used I thought there was something staining on it then, but no, it's an iridescent snowflake. Um, the snowflake, beautiful snowflake cut files by Paige, and then added um, silver glittery stars and other snowflakes. I don't know if you can see all the different shimmers. So that's day 20. What's next? Day 21, uh, where I live, they did a... Um, Christmas light switch on because the town where I live like most places they normally do like a big Christmas light switch on that everyone goes down and looks at with their families but that couldn't happen last year so uh, the estate I lived on kind of said right a particular day which was the 21st um, is a good day everyone put their lights or even though people had them on before the 21st but it was everyone go out with your kids and walk around to kind of get that Christmas spirit so I remember taking George and Jess with me and I took a few photos of some people's houses that were all lit up like a Christmas tree and yes yeah, so to coincide with that I added this little light bulb charm I think that was from Emma from Project Sparkle in like a little charm kit that she added in the thing she sent me uh, day 22 my sister sent us some uh, cute mugs with hot chocolate bombs for Christmas. Now, I think we opened it on Christmas Eve, the present from my sister, because it was like in a biggish box and Chris and I just got a bit excited. Um, and so, sorry, Catherine, <laughs> we opened it on Christmas Eve and it was perfect because um, there were mugs with hot chocolates in. Look how cute. There's like a cat. I use this all the time. It, it often crops up in my Instagram stories and um, koala. And a hedgehog and Chris has got a Batman one. But although I think it may have been for George. There's one for all of us and a C for Claire there. Uh, so we've uh, so we used them whilst watching a Christmas movie. And it was very nice, these are uh, chocolate, hot chocolate bombs. So they're in on a stick that you then mix with hot milk. You know what to do with them, you know what to do. Right, day 23, mince pie with cream. Yum. I'm obviously <laughs> <laughs> really struggling for stuff because I think I was just spending all my time crafting and frantically wrapping presents and it just gets manic doesn't it at uh, Christmas time so I'm just documenting oh look a lovely mince pie with cream hot mince pie with cream have a poche um, with a Paige Evans wreath uh, cut file there day 24 Ah oh, yes, right, so it's awful, it's like the worst photo of me ever. I'm going to stick something over my face, I hate it. Ugh. <laughs> so, no makeup, no hair did, so we're covering that up. So, uh, Christmas Eve, we all got matching pyjamas and we tried to get a nice family photo. This was the best out of a bad lot because they were all horrific. Like, the, George was running off, people were blurry. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> 
but I hate that picture of me. And then I've got a green um, jingle bell. These puffy stickers uh, must be from Hay Santa. All these um, cut files are Paige Evans. Um, and then lots of sort of sequins and things like that. So what else do we have? Oh, there's another Hay Santa charm there that says Holly Jolly. This is just a page for the sake of being a page. Uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I really love that. It really pops against that orange. So here we go. <laughs> Day 25. Now this was from Emma as well. This kind of uh, vinyl, vinyl? Or acetate, it's acetate uh, 25. Um, and I'm trying to remember if this is Paige. I think this is Paige Evans. And then I shrunk it down. Um, so I've just got a photo here um because we've got a the big tree in the living room and then a smaller one in the hall and so i put um or well, santa put the presents uh for the children there and so i managed to uh get a photo of that before they woke up in the morning Ooh. and then uh carrying on the kids all enjoyed opening their presents. George loved opening his presents this year. Yay! Well, the reason why I've written that is because my son is autistic. He is not interested in presents whatsoever. He finds, like, like a lot of autistic children do, Christmas time is really, really overwhelming. It's all the lights, the food, the music, the noise, the excitement. Um, and for the first time, I can see him there. And I filled all the little ball balls up with photos of people. Uh, there he is again. <laughs> he was actually really into it, so it was so lovely to see. Uh, Jess was over the moon with her skateboard. Lizzie was thrilled with her roller skate. So there's, <laughs> as you can see, a very excited uh, Jess with this skateboard that I think she's used once. Uh, this was also from Emma, I believe, this um, wood veneer glittery Christmas present. So I thought it was perfect to put on there. Oh, there's my dog at the back of him with his Christmas jumper on, he's getting in on the action. And then, to finish it off, uh, we all played Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit in the evening. Uh, Jess was on my team and she fell asleep. <laughs> I remember that now, it was just me. Me against Chris and Lizzie. Uh, Chris and Lizzie won, funnily enough. Uh, and then there's cheese, because you've got to have cheese at Christmas, haven't you? So I've got a nice bit of brie there and my knife. And this lovely, uh, most wonderful time of the year, um, cut file by Paige Evans on the very back. So that was it. I've finally done a flip through. Um, so as you can see, it's very, very colourful, very bright. But that is exactly what I wanted. I, I can remember, and I still am, um, being very uh, pleased that I completed it. Because I know a lot of people start December dailies and they just give up. Because it is so time consuming um so i think i've done quite well in that i managed to document ev something every day and there was a little written snippet explaining what was going on and it is fun to look back on it really is um so yes uh thanks for watching <laughs> i am toying with doing december daily this year i'm maybe doing uh, a tn style it won't be cut files and well, it's probably still going to be this chunky. Mind you, last year I was going to do three little mini albums and then it ended up being something totally different. But as it stands, I'm thinking of doing um, a traveller's notebook. So will she? So anyhow, thank you very much for watching. I know it's been a bit of a long one. Um, yeah, so I'll see you on my next video. Bye.